Hey what's up guys, OSJ here with a video on games that were deliberately made sexy to sell copies. These are games that had box art or posters that had little to nothing to do with a game, but for a hormonal teenager it was the next best thing to see in the magazines on the top shelf of the news agents. Some of these games were a total letdown as you will see, but a few of them were really good, namely the Barbarian games, which for me had the best covers at all with the lovely Maria Whittaker. There are 15 games on this list and the order has been decided by adding the game score and the box art score to give us an overall score, but I will show what I gave each one in the video too. So let's kick it off with Legend of the Amazon Women in 15th place. This game was made in 1986 and published by Silvertime. The game itself is one of the worst I've played on the C64, but the box art will have no doubt sold a few copies of this. Next in 14th we have Psycho Soldier, and while the box art isn't as good as the previous game, the actual game saves it as it's mildly better than Legend of the Amazon Women. I would have expected more from a decent label like Imagine though. Thirteenth place goes to the ocean title Cool World. This game was based on the film of the same name, and whilst the intro on the Amiga was great, the box art was too cartoon like to arouse the excitement of a teenage OSG. The game itself wasn't great either. Next, in 12th place we have the Great Guiana Sisters. Now this game scores high as it's pretty good, but not one of my favourites I have to say. The box art looks like it's been thrown together by an 8 year old on MS Paint. Still though, we all know why this artwork was put on, as it's nothing like the game itself. Eleventh place goes to the game that is the most misleading out of all of them, Game Over. I actually had the original poster of this on my wall. I say original, as the box art was changed to hide the ladies modesty in later releases. This is the main inspiration for me doing this list, as I actually bought this and was so let down by the game, but at least I still had the cover to cheer me up. In 10th place is another massive game of the time, and that is Vixen. This game was released in 1988, making me 11, and I can vividly remember seeing this on the shelf in my local computer shop, and parting with my money on the strength of the cover. The game though is Pants. In 9th place, one year after the abomination known as Game Over, came Game Over 2. The sex sells approach obviously worked with the first game, so the second game adopted the same tactic. While not as eye catching as the original, the box art still is very close to what is allowed and the game itself was slightly better. In 
Next in 8th is Dragon Wars, and this game is mid-table mainly for the game score. The game is great, but the box art is mediocre, and again one I would probably have passed by unless there was nothing else that caught my eye. Seventh place goes to Insects in Space. Now this is a weird one, as it's obviously trying to get the young man's attention with the scantily clad angel, and really also delivers in the game with the main sprite being naked. The game is a pretty good shoot 'em up, and you really quickly forget what your character sprite is. Never played this back in the day, so obviously never caught my eye. In 6th place we have Shadowfire, while not being my kind of game it's still pretty good and the cover art is enough to have got my attention back in the day. For a smaller software house the game mode is great and even if I bought this on the strength of a box I still would have been happy when I fired it up. Next in 5th we have Deathbringer, now this would have been a game that me and my mates would have been ogling for definite in the shop had it been the UK release, but sadly we were only threat to a bloke on the cover and a renamed game of Golden's Domain, still though we did get a treat on the loading screen as you can see here. Elvira takes 4th place, and Elvira was a true icon for all teen boys. While it's not been as good as the first game box art, this one is more innocent, but we all knew what to expect in the game, and it delivered with great gameplay and in-screen shots like this. In third position we have Elvira, Mistress of Darkness. Now this was another poster that I had on my wall as a teenager. Anyone who went into the computer shop would pick this game up, but even though it's a good game, the Amiga was better with crisper, more realistic graphics. Still though, that box art, wow. Second place goes to Barbarian 2, and as I said at the start, I loved Maria Whitaker at the time. She was a page 3 girl here in the UK, and every teenage boy would talk about her on the cover of the first game. While the box art isn't on par with that game, it's still a great game, and yeah, the guy is Wolf of the UK version of Gladiators. Again, there was an array of different covers for this, maybe because some of them were deemed too raunchy. And now, in first position, is Barbarian. I don't know of a more iconic sexy game cover ever made, and Maria looks great on this box. I had the poster on my wall, and my mother would complain about it when she came into my room. The game was great too, although the box art was as far as the woman character got. Okay, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments below what your favourite box art was, and remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Till next time, this is OSG, signing out.